everybody, this is Sean over All Select Music. Today I want to talk about this album right here. This is John Carroll Kirby's My Garden, released on Stone's Throw on April 24th, 2020. Now, earlier this year, I fell in love with his 2021 Stone's Throw release, Septet, and as a result, I decided to start picking up John Carroll Kirby's back catalog releases, starting off with his debut album on Stone's Throw. So now that I've given this album quite a few listens, today I wanted to share my thoughts and opinions of this guy with you and let you know why I think it's worth checking out. So with all that being said, yeah, let's talk about this guy. So for those of you who don't know, pianist, composer, producer, John Carroll Kirby was born in LA and has produced and written works for some of the most varied and famous artists and musicians around, including everyone that you see here. In 2017, he released what appears to be his debut solo album, Travel on Outside Insight, from which snowballed into him releasing a new solo project every year on labels such as Patience, Stones Throw Adjacent, Label, Leave records and now being a stable artist on Stone's Throw themselves. Starting with this album right here, he's now released four other albums for the label, two of which were released this year. Needless to say, the man is proving to be a bit of a workhorse. But going back to My Garden, according to his band camp, the album was meant to be a distillation of sound, soulful, spiritual, and evocative. Over on Stone's Throw's own website, he gives a little bit more detailed description of many of the tracks on the album as well as his intention with the album. Critically, the album garnered a bit of critical press with the highest rated critique saying this and the lowest rated critique saying this. But where do I stand in all of this? I mean, truth be told, I think Septet is the far more brilliant album. And as I stated in my review, which if you want to know my thoughts and opinions of this guy, definitely go check out my review for it over here. But nonetheless, I think this is the superior album. I think everybody should check this out. And this guy is just kind of more of a curiosity rather than like a full-fledged project. The main foundation of this record is a lot of like drum machines with John Carroll Kirby playing a motif and and some melody and harmonizing with himself over the top of it. And the results are a very pleasant, very calming, very relaxing, very soothing album to listen to. That is, as the most critical review of this album said, uh, a bit forgettable, but ultimately for me, that's not really a big issue. I go to this album specifically for one thing and one thing only, when I can't think of what else I really want to listen to. This is the sort of album that works out perfectly. It's pretty unoffensive, it's great music or reading, which I've been using this album a lot recently as I've been going through through Daniel Kahneman's Thinking Fast and Slow. Highly recommend that you check out that book. And over the period of time that I've been going through and reading this book, this guy has become an absolutely perfect companion for reading. It's very unobtrusive. And also at the same time, John Carroll Kirby's melodies on here are very compelling. There's some like really genuinely beautiful moments on this record. Specifically, the second track on here, By the Sea, is just this super delicate, simplistic, yet effective track of him uh, playing a beautiful piano motif over some really, really light drums. And it is very calming, very relaxing, and just really quite a pleasant track to listen to. The opener on here as well, Blueberry Beads, is very much in that same sort of regard and it actually has like a little bit of uh oh what's his name vince uh, the guy from the uh, the, the, the Peanuts Christmas uh, special. I'll put the record here so you can check it out and you can make fun of me for not being able to recall his name on the spot. But regardless, very much in that sort of vein and it's definitely an instant ear catcher. And I really like the last track on here. I think it wraps everything up quite nicely as well as just being, as well as being just like the perfect little send off to this rather relaxing piece of music. I just say ultimately as a critique of this album, I don't think that it's memorable all the way through. You can sit pretty much the list of tracks from the start of the B-side all the way to the last track are largely the most forgettable
listenable tracks on here, but none of them are so disjointed or uh, ill-conceived that they're like painful to listen to, but rather they just come and go and really leave very little impact, which is kind of a shame considering how many uh, other great musical moments on here. The A side of this record is positively fantastic, whereas the majority of the B side of this record is just kind of ho-hum. Overall, I'd still recommend this record. I think it's the perfect sort of non-intrusive background listen that uh, I personally love when I'm either trying to get some work done or trying to write or trying to read. And this album works perfectly for that. It may not come as highly recommended as Septet, which I think you should check out first before getting into this guy. But still, I really like what John Carroll Kirby has done on here, and I'm very curious to hear what some of his other records sound like. So yeah, this album gets a solid recommendation from me, and uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it there. That's gonna be it for me today, guys. Thanks as always for watching. If you've listened to this album for yourself, please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. If you wanna hear this album for yourself, please head over to my WordPress blog, because that's where I post music links to any of the records that I talk about on this channel. And make sure you go follow me on Twitch for Live from the Record Room, my weekly DJ live streams where I play records like the ones that I talk about in these videos, as well as a whole host of other records in my collection that I don't get a chance to talk about on this channel. Links to everything, as always, down in the description. That's gonna be it for me today, guys. Thanks as always for watching and I will catch you in the next video so until then peace out